Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how we could add speech to your project. Now, the board you see here is a text-to-speech module, and it's available from a company called RC Systems, and it plugs into your project board by two SIP headers you see here. Now, this is their Generation 1 board, and they have a replacement for this, this exact board. They also have another board called VStamp, which has a much smaller footprint, but they all work the same. Uh, they all run on 5 volts, so if you have a microcontroller project that could stream ASCII text, either serial or parallel, this board will accept the stream and speak what is sent. Now you could generate test tones, DTMF tones, uh, there's different voice selections, uh, you could control the voice speed, uh, you could add delays in the speech, and there's a speaker a driver on board, and there's a volume control which will drive an 8 ohm speaker, and there's also a low level output which you can feed into your project. So there's all kinds of options. So next I'll show you a diagram and explain how this works. Okay, here's the schematic of the text-to-speech module that's hooked up to a microcontroller. And the module is labeled U5, V8600. If you look at the very top left, you can see pin 1, VCC, that's your 5-volt input. And on the very bottom left, pin 24 is your ground. So that's your power supply into the, into the module. The pin 22 labeled sync, that goes high when the module is talking, so you can hook that up to an LED to give a talking indicator. The pin 13 is your low-level audio line output, and pin 14 and 15 is your speaker output, and the volume of that speaker is controlled by the pot on the board. Now if you look at the very right, you can see the parallel interface. So you got D0 to D7, and you got your handshaking pins, is your busy pin, and your write and your read pin. So if you wanted to send the words hello world into this module to speak hello world, first thing you would do is send the, the ASCII code H, which is hex 48, and you would put that on the lines D0 to D7. Then you would wait for the busy pin to go low, meaning it will accept data. Then you would pulse the write pin. And that would send H into, into, the, into the buffer of the module. Then you would go to the next letter, which would be E for hello. And that's hex 45, and you would put that on the, on the bus, D0 to D7, and wait for the busy pin to go low, then pulse the right pin. And you continue to do this for the whole two words, hello world, and after the last uh, letter, D, you would send a null. You would send a null to the module to indicate to start talking, and the module will start talking, hello world. So next we'll look at some software that we could use to run this, this board. Okay, here's some code that will demonstrate how the module sounds. So if you look up here, we could send out hello world. So if I type HW, it will speak hello world. And the word speak uh, is a little subroutine that takes the, the text stream and sends it to the module using the busy and the right handshaking. So the next one will be numbers, which will type num, and it will count from 1 to 20. Uh, the next one, num1, it will count from 10 to 100 by tens. And num2, it will speak pi is a nice number, and when it, when it sees the number pi 3.14159, it will actually uh, speak it as that, because it notices the decimal point. Now, periods, like you see here, are, are delays, so they'll, they'll set in three delays, and it will actually speak a large number. It will say 321 million for that number there. And the next will demonstrate eight of the voices. So they'll say, hello, how are you doing? Have a nice day. And you'll see all the different types of voices. So if I type the word voices, it'll actually uh, do them all. And you could slow the voice down. So we'll see what it sounds like when the voice is, uh, is a little bit slower. And the next one, it will say the alphabet. And the next one, you'll see the difference. Uh, if we end a sentence in a period or, or a question mark, you actually could hear it the difference between uh, a question and just a straight uh, a statement with a period. And the last one is custom, because sometimes you have to uh, fudge it a little bit, like the word read. I will read the book, or I read the book, it will be confused. So I use, you could use the word read, R-E-E-D, -E and the word read, R-E-D, and that way you have to fudge it a little bit to, to make it sound properly. So next we'll actually run this code and see how it sounds. Okay, I got my board powered up, and I loaded in some software, and I've written some words in fourth, because it's interactive and I can control it from the keyboard, to demonstrate how the talker sounds. 
So I'm sending this text through the parallel port into the board, but you could use a serial port, and you could use the TXRX, and for handshaking, you, you would use the CTS, the clear to send, to keep the input, input buffer from overflowing. So next we'll start with Hello World. Hello World. Now we'll do some numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Pi is a nice number, 3.14159, 321,890,000. Okay, I'll go through some voices. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Now I'll slow the speech down. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. And here's regular uh, uh, speed. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. And slow again. Hello there, how are you doing? Have a nice day. Now we'll do the alphabet. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now you can see the difference between a question and just a standard statement. Did you get my email? Did you get my email? I'll do that again. Did you get my email? Did you get my email? And now the custom. I will read the book. I read the book. So that's an example of some of the sounds you can make for the talker. So if you need uh, uh, some speech in your project, this might be the way to go.